Hi, my name is Frederick Barkov. I'm a professor of neuroradiology here at UCL and I work with MRI scans of the brain to diagnose various diseases, uh, one of which is multiple sclerosis. MS is a disease uh, that affects young women and um, has a protected uh, course uh, over many decades. And it's often difficult to make the diagnosis but also to give a good prognosis to patients and to decide when or they need treatment or not. And on MR we can see bright blobs in the brain that are very easy for us to diagnose the condition. But uh, in fact when you want to follow the disease course over time it's much more difficult. You can see gross changes uh, with the naked eye but you would like to quantify the volume changes over time. In addition to these bright blobs there is shrinkage of brain structures that uh, occurs due to nerve cells being damaged and dying off. And this is a very important factor in the long term prognosis. And what we would like to do as a neuroradiologist is to combine this information to get an overall picture of how the, the patient is faring and, and whether they need treatment or not. I'm working here with George Cardozo from uh, the CIMIC who uh, hopefully has a solution for this problem. Yeah, so my name is George Cardozo. I'm a lecturer at the Center for Medical Image Computing and I'm working on bringing machine learning technologies into clinical practice. So really the idea of this project is to be able to take all the measurements that are necessary for clinical assessment making it work on clinical grade data, finding out what's normal and what's abnormal, and we'll do all of this using very advanced machine learning and image modeling techniques, and then being able to deploy it in clinical practice by providing to, uh, to the clinicians all the reports and biomarkers that they need to better diagnose and prognose their own patients. Yeah, and I think UCL is, is, is an excellent place to do this because we have the building blocks, we have the algorithms, and we have a very close collaboration between engineering, computer science and brain sciences which hopefully will allow us to translate this beautiful knowledge into an integrated solution that we can use as clinicians uh, to advise our patients better on when they need treatment and when they don't.